Hello everyone, this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. I am here to do another Come Cook With Me video. I am making meatloaf two ways, mashed potatoes with gravy. Yes, I did a little shortcut on the gravy. You're going to see it in this video. Garlicky green beans and corn on a cob. Yes. I am so sorry I have not been active here on YouTube. As you guys know, I went to the Dominican Republic for two and a half months. And as soon as I came home, I started spring cleaning, decluttering, and doing things around the house. So I was very, very busy. However, I am done, thank God. And I am ready to be active here on YouTube. So be on the lookout for videos every Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. Okay, don't abandon my channel. You know what I'm saying? Yes, don't abandon my channel because I haven't been active. But anyhow, let's resume with this video. So you guys already know that I show you everything from start to finish. You see the whole process in these videos. First, I'm going to do the meatloaf. You're going to want to use any peppers that you have on hand. Those are the peppers that I had, so that's what I'm using. You could use any color peppers. And I'm going to cut them into small pieces. I am also going to cut a half of an onion. You can use whatever onion you have on hand. I'm only going to use a half of an onion. It all depends on you, whatever you want to put. If you like a lot of onions, put a lot of onions. It's your world. And here I am always cleaning because I hate to have a mess in my kitchen. And look at how beautiful those peppers look and the onion. Oh my goodness. Now I am going to use two packs of ground beef. That ground beef is a little bit more than five pounds. And I'm talking about over five pounds each pack of ground beef. I have a big family. I gotta feed everyone. So that's why I'm doing two packs. So you're gonna want to probably cut the recipe in half. I got some fresh garlic here and I'm just gonna cut the tip off the garlic. You guys know I do not like seeing the tip. I don't know. It's unattractive to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really like it. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to use this belong that my husband got me in the Dominican Republic. It's huge. I love that belong. And I'm going to put all of my garlic in there. I'm going to add a little bit of adobo. Don't add too much because we're going to add more adobo to the ground beef. Whole oregano. We're also going to use oregano in our meat as well. And we're going to... Start doing our thing and smashing that baby away. <laughs> Here's the garlic. And I know that's a lot, but we're going to reserve some for the garlicky green bean. Now back to the meat. You're going to want to add some garlic. You can add as little or as much as you want. It depends how much you like garlic. And that's for the garlicky green beans I reserved. 
some whole oregano. I'm also seasoning it up in the other side. You're not seeing it, so yeah. Onion powder. Some more adobo. Add a decent amount because this is more than five pounds. Black pepper. Add as little or as much as you want. And we're going to start adding our onions, peppers, and all that. You add as little or as much as you want. It all depends how much you guys like it. And we're going to mix this up with clean hands. <laughs> now this particular day, everybody was in the kitchen. It was beautiful outside. It was close to the 90s. So I was getting distracted a lot. I forgot to put the sasson. So you're going to want to add some sasson. I also sprinkled a little bit more of adobo, just a little sprinkle, some more onion powder, we are going to add some panko breadcrumbs, instead of us either putting like crackers or even bread in there for mm. the meatloaf could be very nice and loose, that's what I'm going to use. I bought this at Dollar Tree. That's right. I bought it at Dollar Tree. But let me tell you, it works. So if you see it, buy it. We are also going to use one egg. Remember, I'm doing two batches. So I'm going to put one egg here and one in the other one. But one egg for everything combined together and mix away. Now we're going to add some Puerto Rican sofrito. If you got your own, great, add it. But I haven't made no fresh sofrito, so I bought this in the supermarket. Make sure that you mix this really, really good. You want to make sure all the seasoning and the peppers come together. And voila, look at my meat. Now, I must admit, it was a struggle trying to put two big loaves into that little beep pan. You know what I'm saying, okay? But that was the only thing that I had. So that's why I used it. But I molded it as best as I can. You want to make sure you mold it into like a loaf. I also added aluminum foil for that way when it's time to clean this pan up, I could clean it well with no problems, no scrubbing, nothing. I tell you, the struggle was real. It was real when I was molding these two big eh, freaking meatloaf, okay? But it came out delicious. And it's going to shrink. It's going to shrink when it starts cooking. You're going to see it a little later on in this video. And look at how it looks. You can see the peppers, the onions, the seasoning, even the sofrito you can see. Beautiful. Now, you could cook your meatloaf just like this. Just put it in the oven. But I'm going to do a little twist to mine. I'm going to add ketchup on one part of the meatloaf and I'm going to brush it. I only have one brush so you're going to want to go and clean it when you do the other one which is going to be the barbecue one. You're going to see it right now.
and there is the barbecue sauce. You can add any barbecue sauce of your choice. Make sure you clean the brush for that way both could be different. One could be ketchup and one could be the barbecue sauce. We're going to add this at least two or three times. Taking it out of the oven, re-putting some more again, and so forth. Trust me, it's delicious. I put this in the oven at 360 for about an hour and a half. Yes, it took that long because remember, this is over five pounds of meat, each loaf. So we're talking about over 10 pounds of ground beef. You wanna make sure it cooks thoroughly. While that's in the oven, let's start peeling our potatoes to do the mashed potatoes. So right here, I'm using some rusted potatoes. And I did a lot. I don't know how many pounds I did, but it was a big bag and I used half of that bag. So yes, it was a lot. All of my potatoes and I am gonna rinse it clean it make sure you want to do that I have here a pot of boiling water I added salt to that water and add your potatoes in there I took some water out because it was you know overflowing but yeah you're gonna want to do that and I'm gonna add eggs you can add as little or as much as you want I added seven eggs because my family loves when I put eggs in the mashed potatoes. So this has been cooking for quite a while. It's not much we're doing here because we're waiting for the meatloaf and we're waiting for the potatoes to get soft. Ten minutes into boiling the potatoes, you're going to want to take out the eggs and put it aside because you don't want to overcook your eggs. You also gonna want to boil your potatoes for at least a good like 30, 35 minutes. You want to make sure it's very, very soft. Now that I took out the eggs, I am gonna work on the corn. It ain't much to do in this process, but I am gonna clean it up and I'm gonna cut the corn on a cob in half. I'm adding my corn on a cob to some boiling water. Make sure you add salt to your boiling water. So it's been around 40 minutes and you see all of that juice and stuff. I went over to the sink and I threw most of it out. I am going to cut a piece for my son, but I'm cutting just the edge because the edges always cook quick when you make meatloaf. Now the center is still probably, you know, it needs a little bit more time to cook.
So I'm adding more ketchup and more barbecue sauce. Repeat this step again and put it back in the oven. And of course, my kids cannot patiently wait for dinner to be completely done. Always coming in the kitchen, getting some samples. You know how it is. <laughs> So the potatoes is already done. Make sure that you don't let your potatoes sit there for a long time. You're gonna wanna go and do this step really quickly for you can have creamy potatoes. As soon as you strain it, get to work. You want your potatoes nice and hot. I'm gonna add some butter. I'm gonna add mayonnaise. Now, this is a come cook with me video. As you guys know, I never stay specific measurements. And at the same time, this is a big batch. You guys may probably do a smaller batch. So just taste as you go. I'm going to keep adding a little bit of butter, a little bit of mayonnaise, and I'm going to also add milk for I could get it the right consistency and texture. So, yeah, just like I said, taste as you go. I'm going to add dried parsley. I wouldn't suggest fresh parsley. No, don't do that. Add dried parsley. black pepper add as little or as much as you want add a little bit of onion powder not too much you don't want to overwhelm it with onion powder like you know the taste but just a little bit just a little hint of it and then mix 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 I'm tasting it to see if it needs anything else. And I felt it needed a little bit more salt, so I'm adding a little bit more salt. And a little bit of onion powder. I'm adding more mayonnaise. Like I keep telling you in this video, taste as you go. And towards the end, I like to add a little bit of milk just for it could have a nice, smooth texture to it. Trust me, it's really, really good. Everyone loves my mashed potato. Okay. <laughs> Put it back on your stove, put the lid, and make sure it's on very, very low heat, just for it to stay warm. Towards the back, I'm adding my green beans. Make sure when you do the green beans, make sure that you have your water boiling. I am going to boil this for like maybe five minutes, and then put it in a bowl with ice to shock it. You're going to want to do that.
because I know my kids are gonna ask me for it. And I just want to show you how it looks. Look at how beautiful that is. If you guys have never put ketchup or barbecue to your meatloaf, you're missing out on life. Okay, it's so good. My kids love this. Nice and juicy. Mmm, delicious. Now you're going to be seeing me give the kids because they always sample everything that I make. I'm adding some ketchup and I'm going to add barbecue sauce and this is the last time I'm going to do that, okay? This time I'm going to put it in the oven but I'm going to bump up the heat to at least 380 to 400 degrees for like another maybe 10 minutes. Again, you don't see my kids hands literally they're gonna eat the whole meatloaf <laughs> Now I could have done gravy with all the drippings from the meatloaf, but I'm sorry I was already cooking a lot and I was like hell no I am not gonna do no gravy from scratch so I got this store-bought gravy and I decided to just make it when you buy a pack of this, you want to make sure that you follow the instructions in the back and make sure it gets thick. I got my pan here. We are gonna saute the green beans. I added some extra virgin olive oil and some butter. You add as much butter as you want. The more butter, the better. That's right. <laughs> Now I'm going to add the reserved garlic that you saw earlier. You can add as little or as much as you want depending on how garlicky you want your green beans to be. We love a lot of garlic, <laughs> yes. So make sure that you have your pan on like medium low. You don't want to burn your garlic either. And then we're going to add our green beans. This is going to take a total of maybe 7 minutes depending on how soft you want your green beans. I'm sorry I had to kind of mix it with my hands on the other side but I was just really trying to get dinner done. And for the most part my hands is always clean I'm always always washing my hands and this is for my family and my family knows that I'm very very clean that's right so yeah don't do this though don't don't use your hands just just use some tongs or something <laughs> make sure you mix the green beans very very good make sure all that garlic goes all around I'm adding some butter more olive oil salt pepper and you season it to your liking The gravy is nice and done, thick, beautiful, even though I didn't make it from scratch, but whatever. <laughs> and I just took out the meatloaf and oh yes, it is completely done. Yum. Green beans is almost done. Ah. Oh. Look at that nice butter and garlic. Yum. <laughs> I always get excited every time I do these voiceovers and end up seeing the ending of the video. Yes. I love it. <laughs> wow.
mashed potatoes is done. It's been done, but it's nice and warm, ready to be served. And this is everything that I cooked that day. Mm -hmm. It took me a nice long while. My kids better appreciate me. They will never have another person like me in their life. <laughs> I also did some rice on the side because my son Peanut, he does not like mashed potatoes. So he ate everything except the mashed potatoes. Dinner is done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that meatloaf. That's right. Nice and moist. Delicious. This one is the barbecue one. And then the other one is the ketchup one. If you ask me, I love the barbecue one. My kids love the barbecue one more than the ketchup. But they ate almost those two loaves. I'm not even joking. <laughs> but the barbecue one is my favorite and my kids like that a little bit more than the ketchup. You can see the peppers, the onions. The meatloaf is nice and loose because of the breadcrumbs. Very, very delicious. That's the mashed potatoes. Oh my God. Listen, make that mashed potatoes. It's so good. If you don't like meatloaf, make it with chicken. Make it with pork chops. But make the mashed potatoes. With the gravy on top, delicious. The green beans, listen. Make the green beans. Make everything in this plate, please. The green beans are very, very good. Corn on a cob. Add some butter on the top. And you're good to go. And this is the final dish. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will be posting now every week. So be on the lookout for more future videos. I got a whole bunch of recipes for you guys. Please share, like, and please recommend my channel to your friends, your loved ones. Please help my channel grow. I deserve it because not for nothing, it takes a long time for me to edit these videos, okay? So please, give a sister some love and share my videos on social media. Take care, God bless, and I will see you next week. Bye!